Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I have achieved this curly blow dry look with my new Dyson Airwrap. Woohoo! I've been wanting this for so long and I finally got it for my birthday so I thought why not do a first impression slash tips and tricks slash how to use the Dyson Airwrap, what it does, how it looks after. So I'm basically going to show you how I curl my hair with the Dyson Airwrap. So let's get into it. So as you can see I have just washed my hair, so I just obviously washed it as normal shampoo conditioner and brushed it through. So now I'm going to first of all put in some uh, heat protection, some Lee Stafford heat protection because although the Dyson Airwrap doesn't actually put as much heat on your hair as normal hair products, so like hair dryer, straighteners, curlers, obviously they get really really hot, the Dyson Airwrap doesn't get as hot as those. I'm still going to put some heat protect on anyway, right, so I'm just going to brush that through as well. So now I'm going to roughly dry, I'm going to concentrate on the roots because you do need a bit of moisture still in your hair so you don't want it to be wet like this obviously but you need it to be damp for the Dyson Airwrap to actually work and for the curls to hold. So it comes with the hair dryer attachment. I haven't tried the actual Dyson hair dryer, but from what I've heard, this they call this the pre-styler because it's not quite as strong as the actual Dyson hair dryer. I mean, I still think it's really good. I don't need to use a hair dryer as well as this, I just use this. But I'm gonna use this just to dry my roots and to dry through the ends, but make sure that there's still a little bit of moisture in there as well. So let's get dry. <music> now probably 80% dry I can still feel a bit of moisture in there when I touch it I'm just gonna brush through it again just to get any of them knots that that hair dryer put in so that's it dried enough to start using the curling attachment so before I start using the curling attachment I am just going to stick through my hair a bit of sea salt spray uh, this again is the Lee Stafford sea salt spray so I'm just gonna put a little little bit of this through my hair just to sort of give it a bit extra hold because my hair's not very thick like I have quite a lot of hair but it is quite thin so it doesn't hold as well as uh, thick hair. I just ate it. So the attachments I'm actually going to use today are the 22 millimeter long attachments. So the actual set that I got was the short set or the standard length attachments. I'll show you the difference. So these are the standard ones and then this is the one for long hair. I have had a go of these and they do actually work fine with my hair length. Like as you can see my hair's like that sort of length so it's not like really really long but it's not short either so it's sort of in between. But I thought I'd try these ones and also these particular ones are slightly thinner as well. These are meant to be really good for fine hair to keep the curl in longer and give you a slightly tighter curl. So I'm going to give these a go today. So you do get two in a set so you can see where the arrows go. So that's actually the way around so you want to curl away from your face so if you hold them up like this the arrows so that arrow is pointing that way so that's this side because it'll curl away from your face that arrow is pointing that way so that'll curl away from your face so I'm going to start off with the left side so I'm just going to take off the hair dryer attachment and pop on the curling attachment so it's quite easy to take off you can see it's got a lock and unlock button so if you want to take it off you literally just pull that down and it pops off like that and then you just literally clip it in and if you don't pull that it doesn't come off so that's quite easy to use and then on this side you have the um so the fan settings so how strong the fan is on on the device and then you've got the heat setting, so you have two warm settings and a cool setting and then this is to turn it on and then you turn it on and then you can push it up and it cools the air so it gives your hair a cool shot. You use the warm, leave it on and then just before you take it off you give it a shot of cold just to sort of, it, it's meant to hold it. So I'm going to start off with this side, so I'm going to take a section off my hair like this and then I'm going to turn it on, place it there and then it sort of just gathers it. Dabs it. I mean, it doesn't work for you really. Hold it for a little bit. Give it a cool shot. And then, can you see how, like, that has gone? How curly it's gone. It looks very interesting when you first curl it. Can you see? Like that. And obviously once we're done, we'll brush through it and it will obviously look a bit nicer than that kind of curl. Right, I'm gonna try another one now before I speed it up just so you don't have to sit and listen to this whirring away. 
Um, so again, put it behind my hair, turn it on, it gathers it, and then you just roll it up to the top, hold it there, you should hold it for about 10 seconds. Cool shot for five seconds. And then pull it out. And oh, another really long curl like that. I promise you it'll look better once it's brushed out. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around and do that all with this side, and then I will show you the other side. done so that's all curled as you can see so I'll leave that to cool and then we shall go on and do the other side so all we need to do now is just change the attachment so you just literally pop that off and pop that one on you can touch them after you've used them I mean they they're warm but they're not hot it's quite good if you're on the move and you need to chuck them in your bag straight away and also you're not gonna burn yourself but let's get the other side done I'll show you the first one again The cold shot. And take that out. And we have our curl. I can't get over what this uh, machine does. So I'm going to go around and do the rest of this side, and then I shall talk to you again once I am finished. <music> bit of my hair curled so we're going to leave these until they are a bit cooler before we brush them out so now I'm just going to do my fringe bits so I'm going to swap these for the smaller attachments which I have here so then I'm going to grab my shorter part of my fringe at the front here that's not yet been curled I'm going to pop this on here And when that brushes out, that should brush then that way. And switch this out for the other side. My hair is looking a bit crazy at the moment. Just waiting for it to cool down a bit. While I'm waiting for this to cool down, I shall just give you my opinion on the Dyson Air Wrap. I've wanted this for so long. I think I've been asking for it for like well over a year for my birthday or Christmas. Obviously I couldn't justify spending that much just randomly on myself. I've kept it on like birthday Christmas list so hopefully one day get it and I got it for my birthday this year which I was so excited about and I've tried it a couple of times so I wanted to try it before like I showed you guys so I could give you some tips and tricks if you wanted to get yourself one as well. And the first time I did use it I used these smaller barrels on like the whole of my hair. It didn't last at all now I used it so I've used it twice the second time I used these short barrels as well because these longer ones I only ordered this week I did it again for the second time I used the sea salt spray which I didn't use on the, on the first time before I curled and also I used the new hairspray I'd run out of hairspray so I had just had a cheap one in my drawer one of those ones oh this is the one it was the silverkin one it was just a cheap one that I found in uh, one of my drawers and I found that when I sprayed it on it was really wet like it was it's quite a wet hairspray so I think the wetness of the hairspray also made it drop out. So I've got a new hairspray which I tried last time which I'll also be using today, which is this one. It's my favorite hairspray. I usually do have this one in my drawer and I ran out, which is why I didn't use it before. But it's forgot to be too sexy. This one's really, really good and the curls stayed in so much better. So the first day it was nice and curly like a bouncy blow dry. The second day it still had a curl to it. So it actually still had a slight curl to it 
I think for four days. I'm sure I left my hair four days before I washed it again. Obviously it wasn't sort of like curly enough to have down and it to look really nice but when I had it like up in a ponytail the ponytail was still curly half up half down it still looked nice so I think the hairspray that you use and what you put on your hair before you do it as well that really makes a difference I mean this is the first time that I've used these ones the curls feel so much nicer and they've curled my hair like up higher yeah I was trying to fit all my hair onto this little one but I wouldn't say it's a problem if you've got this little one it does still work but looking at these curls compared to the curls when I use the smaller one there is quite a big difference and this actually specifies on the website that it's for fine hair to make the curls last longer if you've got fine hair and or long hair I have also used with this the hairdryer I think it's amazing it's just as good as my normal hairdryer and the other attachments that do come with it I've got this one which is the smoothing brush now, i've used this before as well if i'm having my hair straight i blow dry my roots so they're nice and dry and then i use this to dry the rest of my hair and so you just literally brush through it like this way drying it and makes it so sleek and straight i don't know about if you've got curly or wavy hair how good this will be to straighten your hair but it might be a very good first step before you straighten it after rather than brush blow dry blush blow dry this is like a blow dry and a brush basically my set came with one other attachment which is the round brush so if i'm having my hair straight or even sometimes if, when i have it curly i use this usually to do my bangs my front bangs so i usually just wrap it around like they do in the hairdressers pull it out and then it makes it flicky at the sides which gives it a nice shape. There is a bigger set that comes with another brush um, like this. I don't really know the difference between the two brushes. They look very similar apart from the bristles are a different color. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the difference between the two. I mean, I absolutely love it. I really do think it's worth the money. It's sort of like your hair dryer brush, round brush, curler, straightener in one for me that really works. So like when I go on holiday and things like that, I only have to worry about taking the one item. Um, and I, I know it's a lot of money, but I do think it really is worth it. And I absolutely love it. And I use it basically every single day. So it's definitely worth it for me. My hair's cooled down a bit, I think enough. So I'm going to grab my wired tooth comb and I'm going to brush through the curls and show you what it looks like after. <laughs> the most satisfying part of curling your hair is when you brush through it now, i couldn't get this sort of curl with a curler like with a my hair just doesn't do this with a curler look how nice the girls oh my god look at the girls the nice thing is as well your hair just feels so like oh like you've just stepped out of salon girl yeah feeling that hair i love it my hair's got so much volume and it never has volume my hair and volume does not go in the same sentence unless it has no in the middle of it hair no volume that is what my hair usually is but this has given it so much volume oh i love it so much and these oh, if you've got slightly longer hair and slightly thinner hair get these barrels so now i'm just going to quickly before i forget spray my hair keep the curls in the good thing about this hairspray is well it doesn't make your hair crispy it still keeps it nice and light and that is the hair done so i am actually going to perform in a show this evening so i am going to go finish getting ready but i really hope you enjoyed this video i do highly recommend the dyson air wrap if you have any other tips and tricks that you've tried let me know below because i'm always looking out for different ways to use it different tips to try to make the curls last longer and all that sort of thing if you did enjoy the video please do give it a massive thumbs up don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye